back down here. It's an impromptu trip. I left my shovel Saturday. We're going to do a little bit of looking, but we're mainly on the quest to find it. It's good ways down the river. But we're keeping our eyes peeled, see if we find anything good. What do you think here? A war there? Not too war on top. I don't know if we got us a little grooved hammer stone or not. They say when in doubt, throw it out, but the way that thing shaped it really intrigued. It doesn't really have a lot of beat marks on the ends, so though, so I just say coincidence. It had got a hold of it and made a good one, though. Tell me what you think. And the stone made into a real quick scraper. But still ain't seen no sign of my shovel yet. I'm somewhere close to where it was. I can't quite remember though. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled through, through here. Hey, on this piece here, looks like they might have been using as a scraper or maybe just preform to start a point. But the cool thing on it. I can get it to focus. There's fossils. This could be natural fractures too. I know the, the pieces probably broke off. I'd take a guess the little micro fractures. They were probably doing that too, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. But they're in the flint jar. If I had to guess, way that end is it looks like it they're trying to make a scraper out of it um we're gonna keep looking i think somebody picked my shovel up or floated away because i've looked pretty hard through here and i haven't been able to find it i'll tell you if it was a snake it would have bit me because i was right here looking around and some rocks because I saw some flint and right in my face unbeknownst to me <laughs> it's definitely not where it was the other day it's moved down the river a tiny bit not a lot it's backwards too so the handle I do remember I remember how I laid it down the handle was facing up that way now it's facing down that way but we achieved our goal at least and we got a pocket full of goodies. We'll uh, do some good looking on the way back up, but I'm not staying down here anymore in about a half an hour. So, we achieved what we came to do. Also found this bottle up on a log. I don't know if it's anything or not. It's like an old uh, milkman bottle maybe? I don't know, it has an eight on the bottom. We're gonna look it up when we get home. That's pretty cool. Well. I don't see too much. You got me a little friend here. I'm just glad I didn't hurt him. A little soft shelled turtle. We're gonna let him back in the let him back out. Now I think we're wanna dig right down here a little bit. Look at this way. This one away from me. Alright, there you go, bud. There he goes, he's right under the wall. We'll have to set a log out here so remember he's right here. That way he won't go past. Well, there's some of my stuff on my pocket. I got it back. Alrighty, we won't dig past that. I'm being a little bit of a home record today. Move some rocks, there's old river lobster. Above I'm digging in here. Let's get you down to the water. out here safe and sound I know I wouldn't like me either I got there you get you're upside down you're good to go now do a little digging right in here well got a good chunk of flint some cord mark pottery I got a couple pieces that might be scrapers. 
I found that bottle. I don't know what that bottle is. But we're going to give it a look when I get home. But uh, most importantly, we found the shovel. We saw some other neat rocks, but I don't know if they were anything. I went ahead and kept them. I threw them in my little uh, what-if pile in my flower bed. That way, uh, one of these days, if I ever find out that they're any kind of artifact, they'll be there. If not, I'll make good decoration for the flowers. But, uh, yeah, got the shovel back, so today was a win, even if we didn't find anything. But we got us a handful of things. I appreciate everybody watching. We had a pretty neat find today. First for me. Look at everything you see here. All these flint shards, these bags of pottery, and all the different points and tools. Excuse me. Everything you see here is stuff I found that I've intentionally looked for. And there's all these stories on Facebook of, well, I was here doing some construction or I was walking down the road and I looked down and people randomly find these points all the time. I've always been pretty jealous of those. It's kind of neat that, uh, you know, people can stumble across them because it's pretty rare just to find one in the middle of nowhere. And I've actually got my first story of that. And here's that point today. That's a little broke tip that I found. And I was actually at work. I deliver freight for a living. And uh, just happened to be riding shotgun today, too. Which kind of makes it even neater because I never, I'm usually alone or I'm the lead driver. I usually don't uh, drive, but I didn't sleep well last night. And I asked my buddy who was riding with me if he didn't care to drive today. And he was fine to do it. It kind of felt like fate in a way. I mean, it's just an airhead, but to me, it's it's a pretty cool experience. But we pulled up, right there she is. We pulled up to a house. And back just perfect to when I stepped out, it was laying in the gravel of a road right before the house. I don't know if it, uh, it got drug in, obviously, with the gravels from one of the quarries somewhere. But it had me pretty excited. So we got one more to add to the collection, one I didn't even realize I was going to find. This box is filling up pretty good. We're going to have to probably get a second case here in the future. But that's pretty neat. I thought I'd share that with you. And uh, I got a couple other videos we're going to throw on here. The other day I was out looking around in a new spot and I ran into quite a lot of wildlife. And I got some interesting videos of some bald eagles and some blue herons and a couple other things I'm going to share with you too. So... Appreciate everybody watching. That is the newest edition. And hopefully we'll bring more to you. But uh, here's some wildlife. This old plantation here. We've been here before in a couple videos. We're going to do a in-depth video of it one day. We're going to take a tour of it. But I was driving here. Just thought we'd take a look at it. I'm going down the river to a new spot. We're going to look around. I don't expect to find too much because I never do on my first outing in a new area. We're going to see what we can get into today. Here, my friend used to live in this little town. It's called Boaz, right above Vienna, where I live. There's this old graveyard here, and I've never been up in it, and I just wanted to get a quick shot of her. Looks like some of the graves are still being tended, but they have not mowed it this year, in at least a couple months, if at all. Here's another little roadside cemetery. A pretty old one, but it's kind of somebody's yard too, so I'm not gonna go up into it. it. Says Johnson on the side, Johnson Cemetery. There's a tombstone with the namesake of the 1828 to 1882 and 1814 to 1902. Pretty old one as well.
pretty cool. Right off the bat, we'll come out here, here ahead hunting, and there goes a bald eagle. I was about 100 yards from the canoe. I didn't have my camera with me. Hopefully I'll fly back around later. Flew out above me. Definitely a bald eagle. Oh. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's got a nest up there. Try to go back around, see if we can see him. We're not gonna disturb him too much. They don't like it when you get near their nest, but we'll get a good video of him. You look, I'm gonna zoom in right in the middle of the frame. He's sitting right there. He's on the branch behind those leaves. See his white head and eye right now. I think there's a nest in that tree he's on. It's pretty thick right there. And he won't leave it. The other time I saw him, he left and bailed down here. But when he bailed here, he circled back around, landed right in the same tree. Right there. That's pretty cool right there. About, looks like three loons out there. I think they're loons. Just chilling on that log stuck out in the middle of the river. They're probably waiting for me to clear out. I'm in a shallow spot over here. Probably looks like a good place for them to do a little fishing. Blue heron just took off in front of me. I watched him catch a fish, tried to get a video of it, but he took off before I could get it up. Maybe we'll get one of them. He's down there now, about another 100, 200 yards. Maybe we'll get a snapshot of him a little closer next time. There he is. He let us get a little look I missed on. He's not too fond of us. We're interrupting his hunting. He had a little shad. I watched him gobble down a minute ago, right before he flew off. That's how he's looking for his little bait fish up in the shallow water. And he's gone again. Just ate another one. just missed it. He just went down, grabbed him another fish. Well, appreciate everybody getting to watch. Took the time out of their day to come watch me have some fun on the river. And that's one of the important things, too, is you don't always find stuff. If you get in there with a good mindset, you'll have a good time. And uh, sometimes you find things you're not looking for, and they're pretty cool, too. Like, I had a white pine compound bottle I found in an old video, and this old Duraglass medicine bottle. And of course, these pottery shards. I, when I first started airhead hunting, I never expected to find so much of this. But, yeah, I've been at the creek with the, all the kids and 
my wife, and then I've been out on the river at du with Douglas, and it's important that you uh, make sure to have a good time with your family, too, and just enjoy yourself when you're down there. Don't get too caught up in trying to find things all the time. Just uh, have a good time. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching, and everyone have a good evening. Mm -hmm.